questions, please? Bob, walk through feeding the post, and Gabe seems very good at it. how that play works. When we first started, it was twofold. One, we didn't we didn't really move our feet in post. We were kind of trying to lean on guys and not not move our feet, and and then we just made we made terrible angle passes in the first half. In the second half, that's what we talked about at halftime. It's, it's a block out. That's what it is. You get a guy on your back and block him out and don't let him get around you. And uh, we did, the post guys did a much better job in the second half of doing that. And we did a much better job of feeding the ball. Post guys are going to tell you where to throw the ball. They're going to have a hand up. Hit the hand. That's, you know, and just our angles were terrible. Sounds easy to hit the hand, but you've talked before. You haven't always had guys who can really get better at it than most, or where is he? Well, I don't know. I mean, I did. I made Warren Becker famous. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was the Wings and Days commercial. A <laughs> <laughs> uh, little bit of both. <laughs> no, you just, you know, you, you, they give you the target, you hit the target. I mean, that's, that's kind of, that's athletics up there. Most sports. Hit the target. Bob, well, first six, seven minutes were pretty even. You make wholesale changes. Nap hits a couple big shots. Chase hits a big shot. It seemed like that was kind of when things started rolling for you guys. Did you feel like that was when the momentum sort of started going your way? I, mean, I thought when it was whatever, 50, to get it to 15 and 11, it was, we were starting to. But Chase has been terrific. I mean, I don't think people. I know most of you do, but normal people don't uh, understand how much Chase brings to the table for us. I mean, he's, he's been, in, in a lot of cases, our best defender on the floor. He's, he's made shots. He's, he's, he's telling constantly other guys where to go, what to do. Uh, he's, been, he's been fantastic. And Nap's just getting better and better. I know I forget, I, I don't forget, I guess, I just don't think about that. You know, he's coming back from a, from a pretty serious knee injury and then had some other things where they didn't know whether he'd ever play again. So, and you, you know, you just don't come back from that in a couple of months. So, they're, they're, the both of those guys are, are just getting better and better. They give us, they give us pretty good pop off the bench. <coughs> Speaking of the bench coach, almost half the points <clears throat> came from your reserves. You had that 12 0 run in the first half, all bench players scoring. Um, is it, I guess, relief <coughs> knowing you can get that much of an offensive output when you go to your bench? Well, honestly, that's why we recruited him. We recruited Sean because he made shots, and we went through a year where we couldn't make shots. And, um, we thought he was a guy we could command it with uh, consistently. Give us somebody on the perimeter that they had to guard. And Taz the same way. I mean, you're talking about the leading junior college score in, in uh, Division II junior college and the second leading score in Division I junior college. I mean, they, they, scored, they scored there. And, you know, it's, it, the, the, I think the hard thing is, is they're trying to figure out what's going on. You know, so it's hard to play and think. You know, you, you, you really play and react, you don't play and think. When you're playing well, you're reacting, you're reacting to what goes on and because you've already practiced it and done it and you understand you know, what you do in different situations. And I think, you know, as early in the year, those guys were thinking too much and not reacting. But now they're starting to, they're starting to react, they're starting to understand what's asked of them and, and consequently they're playing better. It's not really, you know, you don't think, you don't have time to think, you, have, you react. Well, Jamie mentioned the game out there last year, but they <clears throat> kind of won by a pretty wide margin. Talking with Derek, he said it's not something that you dwell on, but it's something that you think about. Did you get the sense as it started to snowball a little bit that the, some of the guys that were around last year maybe thinking I had a game in Fort Worth? Yeah, I, yeah, I think they. I think they remembered. 
cardinal. You've coached against Jamie Dixon, obviously, a bunch of times since you've been here. Um, just what's, what's your relationship with him like? I think we have a good relationship. You know, we've been in the Big East together and you know, playing as many times as we've been, as we played and recruiting really the same kind of same kids. I mean, we're, we recruit Western Pennsylvania, Eastern Ohio, just like he does. We recruit in New York, we recruit in New York. You know, we're very similar in, in that regard, so yeah, he's been a lot of and, and I, I respect his coach, and I think he does a really good job. He plays down at TCU, which some people couldn't do. Obviously, he's like a fire gas. So, uh, uh, he's, he's the vice president of the NABC board, of which I'm on. So, you know, we're on conference calls once every couple of weeks. And, Oscar becoming better defending around the rim. <clears throat> yeah, he yeah he wasn't very good to start with. And I think, you know I think sometimes some sometimes uh, he's just been you know since since he came over here he's just been bigger, stronger, faster, and quite frankly better than everybody's played against him. You know now there's there's more size, there's more athleticism. And, Takes, you know, he, he kind of, and, and, and he and Derek really don't play against each other every day because we're trying to get them to learn how to play together. So I just thought he was kind of, um, what's the word I want to say? He just, he just wasn't Oscar to start with. I didn't think, I didn't think he had. Oscar's got such great enthusiasm. He's, he's always excited about playing. He got a lot of emotion, and I just didn't think he, he had that uh, at the beginning. And then, and then, you know, I, I told him in the second half, listen, we're going to throw this ball, but you gotta, you got to sit down and put people on your back like you've been doing. And, you know, and it's, he's, 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 he's so fast twitch that when he catches it down there, he's, he's got a great chance to get it on. Coach, the other day you were talking about TCU's three-point shooting, but obviously your guys, have, you know, statistically have been pretty good against guarding the threes. I mean, how much, you know, were you actually worried about, you know, if their threes would could make a difference in this one? You know, did you have any? Well, that's that's their game, right? right. I mean, that's that's. Uh... Jamie's done a great job being, I think, 11 and 30 because they don't have, other than Samuels, they don't have great size. They don't have great depth on the, on the interior. Um, and he's he's used to the, the, the three ball, I think, as a as a weapon. And, you know, you watch him play, and they're three and on the league. Three and on the league, they were tied with Baylor for first. They're going to. They're going to have a say so, I think, in who wins the league. They'll, they'll, they'll beat some of the you know, so called uh, followers. So, when you see your three point defense tonight, does that give you more um, faith, I guess maybe is the right word, in, in what your guys are doing out there on the perimeter? Well, see, I, I still think, Justin, we've got a ways to go. I, we, we, uh, we screwed up some switches. We, we gave them too many uh, open looks. I, I thought we did a better job the game before not of, of, of challenging shots uh, than we did today yeah. at times. Now, there were times when we did a great job. But it wasn't as consistent, I didn't think. And, and, and the time when you know, we're, we're, getting, we're making a run in the first half and we let Van catch it, you know, he comes around behind, he catches it, shoots in a three. Well, who didn't know they were going to try to get the ball to him at 10 o'clock? And, and we, we should have taken that away. We should have forced him to back out in that open. We didn't do that. And that's kind of, uh, uh, you know, 
they, they, they keep telling me they want to be great. Uh, if you want to be great, you have to take care of a little things. That's my last thing. <clears throat> Been telling us all year about how you can shoot. How encouraging was it to see that up there Who's in the game? That? The, your three point shooting today. Well, they can shoot. I mean, I, we recruited them to shoot. Taz, Taz, and, and, and really we, we haven't, I don't think, used all of Taz's talent and ability because he he was a guy you could invert playing the post. And Jeanette was a very strong junior college college. But you can't, you know, we just can't throw everything at them because they're, again, it's, it's a game of reaction. It's not a game of the top five process. talked about executing all the way through the shot clocks in this half court defense. Which one is more difficult to execute through its entire run? Full court press the past teams or doing it like this through an entire possession? I don't think there's really any difference. I mean, it's, all, it, it, it's all about angles and closeouts and, 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 and pressure on the ball. Obviously, J.C. was the best on-the-ball defender in the country for two years. Um, we don't, we don't have that. I mean, he could have done this. And, and it's, uh, it's just that it, it was a, it was a, I thought a better way for us to win to do it the other way. I think this is the way we can win. But you know, we did when we weren't playing. You know, a six down and a six nine, and bring out a seven footer and you know, another six eight. With girth, think about our bigs back then. I mean, John Holden was 185 pounds. Nate at that time wasn't didn't, didn't weigh that much. Our bigs weren't really physical bigs. We have physical bigs now. Coach, I know you said that uh, you guys have a ways to go in defense, but uh, Oscar said that he thinks that you guys are the best defensive team in the nation. Yes. Do you think so? Well, I'm glad he thinks that. <laughs> I mean, I am. I'm certainly yeah. glad he thinks that. But um, he probably didn't watch as much tape as I do. Do you think um, that players have made the best out of Haley and Matthews not being as productive offensively? It just seems like you've had a couple of guys, Napper, Chase, today Sean, guys who've had to fill in to play that third spot, maybe fourth spot even, that Maybe extra minutes and opportunities help a little bit help you all. I, I don't know, Mike. You know, it's kind of, it, it's, for the most part, it is a game of kind of ups and downs. I mean, you shoot really well one day, you don't shoot quite as well the next day. Emma carried us early. I mean, he carried us. I mean, he, he made big plays, he made big shots. Wichita game, when they started back the line, he had a big three that really killed the run. He's just struggling to make a shot, and, and, uh, and uh, you know that affects that affects affects people. Jermaine can do so many things. You know, when Bain got hot, what do we do? We put, we put Jermaine on. Jermaine, Jermaine's whatever he is, six 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 seven and long. That's tough for a six foot one, six foot two guy. And he's got ball skills. And he's kind of been in the slump. He, Kind of going off that a little bit, you know, by the time February, March rolls around, you know, you may not have anyone in the top, you know, 10 in the league in scoring or anything, you know, something like that, uh, maybe eight or whatever, but but you've got a, a team approach, a team aspect, a good bench, you know, uh, R12 is that, that kind of. Does that make it more enjoyable for you as a coach, as opposed to having that, uh, you know, Kenyon Martin, uh, you know? That was about what to bring up. Well, I'd, take, I'd take Kenyon 100 out of <laughs> As opposed to having that 20-point guy and everyone just kind of revolves around him. I mean, 
I, I think I think what's refreshing is how much they root for each other, how much they care about each other, how much they spend time with each other. Uh, I mean, there's no there's 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 no jealousy there. Right. You know? and Derek Derek said to me, you know, get those other guys in. That's like with four minutes to go, and he knew that the game was all the time. <coughs> you know, he said they deserve a play. And then the guys on the bench are talking about, you know, putting them back in. Right. Yeah, they like each other. They like each other, they get along, they, you know, there's never any, there has never been with this group any discord whatsoever. They're just, and it's, it's not, The day before, the day before our, our last game, they were on at ten at midnight. Shoot, yeah. and then together, man, it wasn't it wasn't like uh, the guys that usually are, are always hang out together. So they would always hang out together. It's just it's, it's, it's like, hey man, let's go get some shots, and they all go. Or you know, hey, let's go to wherever, Chick Fil A or whatever. And that makes it easier to coach them. Like, yeah, chemistry. Yeah, it is easier to coach them. You're not dealing with all the other stuff, right? Coach, thank you. Yes, sir.